Uh, looking for a short trade on the pound yen. As you can see here, we have a long term trend line, about 10 days old. It's running through here. It's not really a very looked after trend line. Probably most people aren't looking at it, but you can see it's been well respected. Um, I'm going to short right here. It's going to start scaling in my shorts because we got this trend line up here, breaking out of this cup and handle. And start shorting in the 50 to the 65 range. I think we can get up to here, and trend line should contain this. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to try to go for 50. Let's try if we can get 54.50. Just waiting here. So you can see we're getting really close to this trend line. Um, I think it could go up a little higher. Our trend line will contain it within maybe 15, 20 pips or so. So I'm going to scale in and then scale out as I come in and out. And I'm still waiting for 54.50 to get in. Still having some struggle getting past 50, but I'm pretty sure it'll get up there. Right now, it's trying to fake everyone out who is trying to short, giving them some hope, but it's going to bust right up and stop them out. Right about at 50. I think I'm going to get in very soon here. I'm just going to wait for it to pop a little bit higher than that previous high. Just one more tick up, and then start my scaling in here. 49, 46. Ah, didn't quite get it. Should be patient and wait a little longer. 49.4. Come on, let's see if we can get that 50. I'm just looking at the spread here. This is amazing. I've never seen a 0.6 pip spread on the pound yen, but I don't know what that means. Hopefully, get the bounce to 50 so I can start shorting. Then I'll short at 55, 60, 65, etc. See, prices have fallen quite a bit. Uh, I still haven't entered my order yet, but that's fine. I think this is just a fake out here. Uh, it's going to bounce off this support and then should come back up above 50, 55 or so. See now we've come off from the 50 level pretty hard. Um, if my analysis is correct, I think we should bounce off strongly, stop out all the shorts who entered around here, or entering around here, and should bring us up to 50, 60, or 70. So it looks like the reaction was a little stronger than I was expecting, but it looks like we're bouncing off this trend line here, and I think we're headed to uh, new little trend highs on this one minute chart to uh, finish testing this trend line up here and I'll, uh, I'll go short as planned. Alright, so I want to speed things up to get the price up so I'm going to short one here just because I know that if I short here uh, the market's probably going to do the opposite to uh, stop me up so I'm going to short one here. Let's see, I got filled at 54.39 get ready to short my next ones. Try to get this one around 50 or so. See that tactic usually works well. If I want something to happen, I take the opposite order before I'm ready, and then it shoots up really quickly. Getting ready to enter my second short here. All right, here it goes. Got filled at 45. That wasn't the best fill, but on these quick spikes, it's hard to get the best. Get ready for my third lot.
one thing I like to do is if I enter a lot too early, then I try to close it around break even. So I'm going to see here as the price is coming down, if I can get it out around 54.30 before it bounces up again, then I'll close out that lot and have a better entry as my main lot. Getting close to break even here, so if I get another pip down, I'll stop this one out for a break even and then have my second lot from 45.6 at a nice profit. Well, uh, market spike down gave me that positive uh, fill for the 39.6, but I feel this is a little negative. So it happens sometimes, but what can you do? Now I'm still holding my uh, first lot from 45.6, I'm up 5.8 pips. So I'll just hold this, and if it goes up to uh, 54.50 or 54.55, I'll add more. Otherwise, I'm just holding it happily. You can see that price is backing off from this level pretty sharply, so I think I'm going to take my profits. If Alright, so I took my uh, 12 pips, and net was about 11.4 pips. Easy as that. You can see price is falling away pretty quickly, so maybe that is the top. And you also have to be careful with these channels. Sometimes it penetrates it, sometimes it doesn't, so that's why I like to uh, you know, start scaling in from here up to about here. And then whether you're right or wrong about the exact timing, you know that the trend line is going to probably prevail in the end, as it did here. Um, so I'm happy with my, my 10 pips, even though I could have gotten a lot more, but um, you know, I like to take sure pips instead of uh, holding out, but you can see it's really falling now. Um, but you never know, you could have just bounced to, to this trend line and then continued going up, so I'm happy with my 10 pips. I've been uh, taking the 10 pips when they come.